Hey guys, Dib the Awesome here to give you a Monster Legends Guide. Uh, today we are looking at Scrib. Uh, scri scrib? Uh, scrib, this guy. <laughs> this guy right here. Uh, okay, so this is the last monster of the Illusion map uh, event, the progression map. Uh, I'm doing the last one. Normally I would just do it in order from first to last of the new legendaries but I'm doing the le last one first because holy shit is people like flaming about this guy people are just tossing this guy aside people have been calling him just like shit bag terrible like OMG like what a trash monster mainly just because of his stats This guy d doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the fuck stats he is. Stop fucking roasting on this guy. Uh, I know he's not like he's not the best last monster to get on progressive maps. Uh, most monsters uh, from the progressive maps aren't even like aren't amazingly broken to begin with. And this guy's really no different than all the other ones. Uh, is he as broken as the other ones? No, he's not broken. This guy's not broken. Is he as good as his peers in terms of? possession no 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 he's not but he still does his job and i'm going to explain you his job uh he is not a shitbag monster or sorry for the language uh for my younger younger audience uh he's not terrible he is not bad you want to know what bad is bad is bad monsters are like the things with just 50 percent like chance of moves like the larger con or whatever larger con thunder here those are bad monsters those are the worst monsters in the game uh, and this guy isn't one of those monsters. People are just tossing him aside because of his stats. This guy isn't an attacker. This guy's a status monster. Uh, is he a fast status monster? No, he's not. He's not fast. He's not looking at his speed. It's terrible. He is the extra guy in your team. He's not your main denier. Uh, you bring your main denier who has like three thousand five hundred speed. This guy is not a main denier. Do not use this man as a main denier. So looking at his stats, his power is three two thousand. 783. This power is no different than Fire Lake Quinn, uh, again, who is a supportive monster, not an attacker, and people roast on Fire Lake Quinn. This Fire Lake Quinn is a supportive monster. If, you, if you've seen my Fire Lake Quinn video, I expressed that specifically. I'm actually going to, I'm actually posting both of those actually today. Uh, I made the Fire Lake Quinn a while back, but I hadn't posted it yet. And I feel like this one needs to be posted with that one, uh, because they're both mistreated, uh, because they're not uh, following their brothers. Uh, their common uh, nostalgia of dark types are attackers, and fire types are attackers, or dark types are supposed to be all broken as shit, and this guy isn't broken as shit. He's just not, yeah, he's just not broken. People are mad because this guy isn't broken. I actually, I was excited for this guy, and am I down that he's not, like, like, everything's in the 3000 i'm kind of down about that but his st his stuff is still fun he still has a cool design uh and this is basically an extra guy you bring this is the guy you bring to fights when you just don't care uh, for that third slot uh this guy's a supportive offensive support and he actually goes well with calic uh, and i'll explain in his kit uh so yeah again power power means nothing he's not a damage dealer uh, if you use this man as a damage dealer, I have no idea what you're doing. Uh, but this guy is not a damage dealer. Uh, so don't complain about his power. Oh, his power is stupid. His power is weak. This guy's garbage because he has low power. He is not a fucking attacker. He's he's not. He's just not. He's not an attacker. Uh, his life is 27,000k. Uh, 445. Uh, that's an alright life. You can just slap a life rune on that. Uh, and it will be okay. Uh... It's an okay life. It's not like 21k, uh, which people don't like about monsters. If they're below 21k, they're not worth using. Uh, I hate that nostalgia. You shouldn't be letting any of your monsters take any damage to begin with. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, it, it is just speed speed runes too. So we don't, we never really fight anyone that goes past or deny monsters in terms of speed runes, or just in general. Yeah, we always play the we always pick the fights we can win. So I I don't I don't I never see why people complain about it. Uh, so speed, 3,344. Again, that's a terrible speed. Uh, it's not as fast as all the other Dark Deniers like Krampus and Mommy. 
And you really shouldn't, uh, this, yeah, you shouldn't really use this guy, the, he's not a main denier, so he doesn't even go in the main, he's not even go, he doesn't even go in the main denier category, he goes in the extra guy category, the other, the guy you bring, uh, when you're bored, uh, when you don't mind what you have for the third slot, uh, most people just use another attacker, this guy basically uses other people as his attackers, so he, he doesn't do shit, he's a lazy asshole, he lets everyone else beat the shit, he lets, uh, the AI beat the shit, the shitty out of each other. That's basically what this guy is. He's a possessor. Uh, so, what do you see? This is his ult. Uh, does zero damage. Uh, may possess all targets. May give nightmares to all targets. This is an okay move. Uh, I wish it did damage, but it doesn't. Uh, is it still a great ult? It's a great ult. It's still a great ult. I wish it was, wasn't was like... I wish, it, I wish it was a different form of possession, like a corruption. Uh, that would be great, uh, but it's not... Uh, so going on to a second set, uh, this is uh, Peridolia. Peridolia uh, deals moderate special damage. Uh, moderate special damage to target may possess target. Requires cooldown. You run the skill. This is uh, one of his possession. He's, he has two possession skills, like two main ones. Uh, run the skill. This is a good skill. Uh, and here we got Rosex test or Ros. Roshak's test, uh, this deals 40 damage, uh, again damage doesn't matter really, uh, and it has a zero turn cooldown, it implies one random effect, so basically you can apply one random effect each turn this guy moves, after you use the possession skill. Uh, sleep tight, gives immunity to nightmares and dark attacks to all allies for two turns, uh, this, he has a better version of this so you don't run this one. And here we got, uh, his third set, we got phobic, uh, disorder. Deals low special damage to all enemies, may give nightmares to all targets. Uh, you don't. I don't think this is a good skill. You can run it. It's certainly a option. Uh, it's special damage, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, this is this is one of the moves that actually we really shines in. Uh, this is a uh, corrosive persuasion. Um, may possess target, uh, gains one extra turn. This is why he is an okay deny monster, or he's an e okay extra guy on your team. He's not your, again, he's not the main deny, ma deny monster. Do not use this guy as a main deny monster. Use him as a status causer. Uh, so basically what you do is you possess a target, like maybe the, like the denier or something like that. Uh, and it, and it does the rest for you. You can possess two targets. It's not an AO, he doesn't have any AOE possessions, but he has possessions to get half the team that that's all right uh because you have two people working for you now you basically have like two extra turn two extra turns with people you don't even have or the enemy's team working for you uh so this guy this, again this guy has everyone else do the work <laughs> he's, he's the he's the boss at work that just has everyone else do the work uh, and this move really shines uh group therapy gives immunity to possession and dark uh, attacks to all allies for two turns requires cooldown. All right, this is a great move. This uh, this guy works well in a specific pairing uh, for a deny monster, and the, that deny monster is Kalik. Pair this guy up with Kalik. Uh, that's basically the 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 buddy, the college friend, the most trusted friend for years of like grand age. Uh, this is the this is the move you paired up with Kalik. Because essentially, what you can do is you use Kalix, uh, uh AOE, immunity to freeze and daze and stun. Uh, then you follow that up with group therapy, and now you're immune to possession. You are now immune to basically all the annoying ass stuns, uh, except mega stun or corruption. I think that's the only time when you're not being controlled. Uh, and you're immune to dark attacks too, so you're immune to Barbatos's attacks, as, unless he does like Hellfire or like Death Kneel from Ringer. Uh, this guy's great for specific situations, uh, really, really specific situations too. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. You're basically immune to all forms of deny, unless it's a special deny. Uh, and that's not and that's and that's not a bad thing. People are people like lose games most of the time because they are chain stunned or they're, because they're possessed. And, uh, the problem with Kalik uh, really is like she can't be give immunity to possessions. Uh, so giving the, so pairing that up with this guy, that's not a bad idea. Essentially, what you can do is you can give him 
uh, a life and to a speed or all just speed runes if you're feeling risky for it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I'd, I'd actually recommend it running a life rune, like two speeds and a life, or two sp two lives and a speed, because essentially all you really need, all you really need really is to be faster than the attacker. Uh, I wouldn't recommend like if you're fighting like Voltic. I wouldn't recommend uh, entering a battle that, with the enemy that has Voltic. That's not a good idea. Don't do that. <laughs> but. Uh, Essentially, yeah, you can be pretty much become immune to all forms of deny, or at least most of it. Like, you're not immune to blinds, but that, again, that's one thing, and you're mostly immune to everything at that point. Um, so yeah, for rune sets, you would do one life and two speed, like I said. Uh, partners, any, like again, Kaelic, Kaelic, you you have to pair him up with Kaelic. Uh, that's an essential part of the combination uh, so you're immune to again you're immune to all forms of deny and that's really great people use deny all the time the only thing you're not immune again the only thing you're not immune to are uh, special denies like make a stun and corruption or you're not immune to blinds or oh, stamina drainers that's the only thing you're not immune to <laughs> at that point uh, which isn't a bad thing it's it's really annoying being chained uh, freezing, uh, frozen, and, uh, possessed. That's annoying. Uh, is this thing good against AI? Uh, yes, it's great in Team Wars, uh, when you fight against a the AI. It's good for that. Uh, is it good for main defense side of Team Wars? No, it's not. Don't ever use this on a defensive side team. Uh, because this is just, possessions are pretty much treated as stuns at that point. Uh, so this guy's only ever good in, like, bot fights. Uh, which is probably another reason why people don't like this guy that much, because he's not a great defender either. And, and that's meh, yeah. So what you can do is, you can have fun with this guy. This guy's pretty much for fun when you're sick of, like, using all the same shit to win. Uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a good monster. Is he worth the price that he is now in the event? No, don't, don't, don't try for this guy. This guy's not worth the the gems or the cost or the stress of trying just to get to the last point for this guy. Uh, he's, he's not worth it uh, at that price. Uh, this monster is totally a fun monster or for fun monster. Uh, try him with a different combination of teams. He's it's, it's, it's just a monster for fun, really. He doesn't have any broken stats. He's not. He doesn't have the meta stats, so people won't be using him much. And that's really all I have to say about this guy. Uh, I think this guy is really like overshadow I mean like he's really overshadowed by other monsters and I think people just rat this guy out too badly his sets okay it's just not broken uh it can be countered it can be denied uh and that's why I think people are really upset with this monster uh I was really excited for this monster I'm kind of down he doesn't have like the meta stats but that's all right uh I'll might get this guy at some point uh, if I still have gems at that point. <laughs> uh, but yeah, again, this monster is not terrible. Uh, he's just not broken. Uh, he goes in specific situations. He, he's, he goes into specific situations. You don't really fight enemies with Voltic. You don't fight anybody. Uh, that's just a full team of immunity to possession. Uh, that's when this guy isn't really usable is when everybody on the enemy side is immune to possession uh, which isn't really all that often uh, this guy is only good in attacks like when you're attacking uh, that's the only time this is usable again uh, and that's really all about it that's all this guy is really simple he's just deadpan simple he's he doesn't have anything complicated with him he's just that he's just that simple uh, if you have any questions or guide requests, let me know in the comments below. This has been Dib the Awesome with another Monster Legends Guides. I will catch you guys later.